Hi everyone, it's Renee Yvonne and I want to welcome you to this week's newsletter. This week I want to talk a little bit about testimonials. This is something that I think too often we sort of overlook and it's a great way to get your patients more involved and get your doctors writing faster for you because they see that you have social proof that what you make works. So let me walk you through how to collect testimonials from patients. One of the best ways to do this is to follow up with your patients within 72 hours for everything except BHRT and with that maybe within 30 days. And what you want to do is you want to call them and check on them. How is the medication working? You want to find out are they taking it as prescribed? Are they making so that they insert the suppository, that they're drinking the proper amount of the liquid, that they're applying the cream in the place that you said to apply it? Because sometimes the medication isn't working because they're not taking it correctly. Are they doing it twice a day or three times a day or once a week or however it's supposed to be taken? This is very, very important. So you want to find that out. Next, you want to ask them, are they feeling any side effects? Are they experiencing anything different? So are they able to sleep at night or are they having insomnia? Does it upset their stomach? Do they notice that they have headaches? Sometimes patients don't connect a side effect to a new medication right away. So it's very important that you ask them these questions because this gives you an opportunity to tweak it. Lastly, you want to ask them, are they feeling better? Are they feeling anything different? If they're feeling better and the pain has subsided, the vomiting has stopped, the nausea has gone away, make sure to document that and then ask for their permission to use that information in your marketing materials and let them know this can be your website it might be a brochure it could be a handout it could be in a slide presentation you're going to do for a workshop but you want to know that it's okay to use that you don't have to use their name you can use initials you can use a descriptor but you just want to make sure that it's okay to use that information in your marketing materials once you gather that you have great social proof now to take to the doctor this is a awesome because so many times because you don't have an FDA approved drug doctors doctors can be a little squeamish about writing for a prescription when they're not exactly sure what it is or how it works but now that you have this social proof that you have tens hundreds of patients that are using it now the doctor can feel a little bit more comfortable about it and the patients can too because they can even see oh great this works somebody else used it they had the same thing going on that I have and now I'm willing to try it as well so collect testimonials this is a really important part of your marketing that a lot of people overlook but it gives you a great advantage with your doctors and with your patients if you'd like to know more about that script, you can go to the link below on my free stuff page and download the follow-up script for patients. And I walk you through exactly what to say. You can give it to your technician or to your compound tech or to the cashier. Or you could do it yourself and have them call the patient. Just ask those simple questions and collect those testimonials so that you can use them later in your marketing material. I'll see you next week. Have a wonderful weekend. Bye.